guys welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new thank you so much for clicking on this video so i am back today with another hair video if you know me you know my natural hair is just do you know what it's not it like i've tried so many things to help thicken and grow it it's slowly growing but it's just so fine so frizzy naturally my hair is naturally quite curly and wavy so this is my hair straightened i washed it yesterday i straightened it this morning um i don't really wear my hair like this very often it's all different lengths at the moment like i've still got these bits growing down from where i had like little curtain things cut in but i've got a lot of like my front section of hair that is just not where I want it to be. I all I want my hair to all be one length eventually. And I know there's a lot of other people out there that struggle with their hair. They've either got really, really damaged hair, really like short hair that doesn't grow. Obviously the products that you use and like how much heat and styling and stuff does affect your hair growth and like how healthy your hair is. But some people are just not like have naturally good hair. I I'm not one of those people. So a lot of the time I rely on like hair extensions. I have had permanent hair extensions before. I've tried tapes and I've tried um, nano bonds. But what I have stuck to over the years is like clipping extensions because they're just easy as and when. Like when I don't do anything with my hair, I use my Dyson to dry it and I just kind of put it back in low buns. But when I want to feel nice, when I want to feel like I want to get ready and I've got an event to go to or I'm going out with my friends or I'm going to a party, sometimes I don't want to wear my hair up and I'm not comfortable wearing my hair down like this on its own. So that's when like clipping extensions come into play. So for this video, I'm actually teaming up with BLL hair extensions and I'm very excited because this is a halo hair extension. I've never tried this before. I thought it was a really cool idea for like quick, easy alternatives. If you think that you would struggle putting a whole head of like, you know, I think it's like eight to 10 wefts normal clippings are um, and you want something that's just quick and you know works for you. A halo hair extension is basically one whole weft that sits in a halo shape with some clips at the back. I've never like seen anyone talk about these before, but BLL hair extensions do the halo extension as well as other hair pieces. So today I'm gonna be reviewing it and showing you how to clip them in and talking about like the benefits of this compared to other extensions and just what I think about the product, if it's worth it. Before we jump in, make sure you're subscribed, give the video a like, leave a comment down below, let me know what you think. Let's get into this halo hair extension review. So this is how the hair extensions come. I think it's a really convenient and easy and nice way to like send something in rather than in like just a bit of plastic it's in a nice cardboard box i really love the baby pink on this and then obviously you've got their logo bll hair extensions there and then inside i have taken the hair out of the net that it was in it was one in one of those um black mesh nets and then you also get some clips to help you section your hair which is nice and then some spare clips and the adjusting elastic hair bit on the end. Moving on to the hair, this is what the hair looks like. So this is 100% Remy human hair, which is one of the best like human hairs on the market that you can get with extensions and like wigs and stuff. I've got the 16 inches. So usually with hair extensions I've had in the past, I do like them to be really long because it's like a drastic change up. My hair is naturally quite short at the moment. Having long hair is great. However, with this, the aim that I thought I would go for is something a little bit more natural, something that's not like extremely long um, and that will blend really nicely with my natural hair because it is one piece. I can see why it can be difficult to blend in with your natural hair more. That's why a lot of people will like pin up the bottom section of their hair or they get like layers in their hair. So I thought I would try the shortest length, which is 16 inches. Like I said, 100% Remy human hair. So you can style this, curl it, straighten it, crimp it, whatever you want. Um, I'm pretty sure you can still wash them as well. This is the color Mocha Brown with highlights. I wouldn't say this is a perfect match to my hair. However, I've held it up and kind of tested it a little bit. Um, and it does look like it will blend. So my hair is a little bit lighter than the brown in this. And then I do have a couple of like blonde highlights running through very subtly, but which is where the blonde will blend in. So even though the colors aren't exact to my own hair, it will blend in 
pretty well. They do lots of different colours. They do like balayage colours, one colour, um, and then these highlighted colours as well. This is what the clips look like. So you've got two clips there to keep it secure. And then this is what it means by halo. So you've got these um small parts here on the side that stretch and you've got this thin wire so you can adjust this ever so slightly to the size of your head which is why i've got the other adjustable straps in here as well so if you have like a larger crown to your head or a smaller crown and then the clips help to secure it in the middle halo hair extensions like these work best for people with like fine to medium hair i don't think they'd be the great option if you have super thick coarse type here anyway. So I'm going to show you now how I would apply this. There's loads of tutorials online that I've kind of had a brief look at because I've never used one of these before and it was just kind of like how I'd imagined using it anyway. What I'm going to do is section off my hair. I'm going to keep this front bit out because the wire is kind of going to sit roughly there and then I'm going to section just kind of like down and around ever so slightly. Just take that back. And then I'm just using my own clip to clip this up and out the way. I've got my brush here. Obviously you're gonna need a brush just to make sure everything's smooth. That's how my hair is sectioned there. I've got hair underneath, hair on the top. I'm going to bring the wire on top of my head and place it in that little kind of part in there. And then the extensions should sit kind of where you want them to. So mine's a little bit lower, but I'm just going to clip them in and let them sit there. Like I'm happy for that to be where it's sat on my head. My parting is a little bit higher than where the hair extensions naturally would land. Lift it up slightly, slide them into my hair. And clip it there. So when you're happy kind of where you've placed that, I'm gonna unclip my hair. I might need to go and smooth it out on my straighteners again. And obviously I've got like a little bit of a weird thing here. So this is where I'm gonna take like a wide kind of bristle brush. You don't want anything that's gonna be harsh. You can use a comb, um, but just kind of get your fingers in there and around the wire to just pull out anything that might get caught under it, just so it all sits smooth on top again and obviously start to brush your hair in with the extensions as well so once you're happy with how that is sat i've just gone ahead pulled it all forward making sure that my hair is all brushed out so my natural hair the underneath layer does this with normal hair extensions sometimes as well it can kind of like peek out a little bit shorter my hair doesn't like to stay straight um, and smooth so you can definitely go ahead and curl your hair crimp it like beach waves so this is where the 16 inch sit on me i just went ahead and curled the bottom of it in see what i mean with my natural hair isn't really like that color but it just looks like i've got some highlights kind of underneath but I think it still looks quite natural. It's just super easy. Like it doesn't feel heavy on the head. Doesn't feel super uncomfortable. Um, and that was really quick. Like once you've done it once and you know where you like to position it. It's such a quick and easy thing. It's just as long as your hair is styled similar to how you want to style this. If your hair is naturally straight and stays straight. You keep your extensions straight. If you've I don't know done overnight curls and you've already curled the extensions like it's super easy to put in and just brush through so i'm really happy with that like i said if you got annoyed with like under bits of your hair you could have just plaited a tiny little bit and clipped it up out the way so it doesn't show um when you bring your hair forward like this i'm really happy with how that turned out like i said it was something very different and like a lot quicker than trying to clip in all the different lefts of normal hair extensions i also think that bll hair extensions are fairly affordable for the quality and like the weight the grams of the hair that you get on the website these 16 inch halo hair extensions is 169 dollars so 169 dollars is roughly like 135 british pounds so if you are in the uk um, obviously it'll convert for you but 135 pounds compared to some brands that charge three four hundred pounds for their hair extensions 
that aren't really like that different in quality but what is even better and what i will kind of end this video with is i do have a discount code where you can get 10 percent off with the code fern 10 so you just get that extra little bit of saving on whatever extensions or hair pieces you fancy. Everything will be linked in the description for you along with the details of these extensions. I hope you guys enjoyed learning something new. If these are a bit of you, I am rhyming. Then definitely check BLL hair extensions out. Thank you to the team for wanting to work with me on this. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you are subscribed. Give the video a thumbs up. Make sure you turn my notifications on as well so you don't miss any time I do upload a video. And I will see you in my next one. Mwah. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.